Hello and welcome to myminimaths.co.uk video tutorials. And today we're going to be dividing or sharing a two digit or a three digit number by a single digit. And first of all, on to question one, which is 84. And we're dividing that by four. And for these questions, uh, I'm going to use the short method. Uh, some children call it the bus stop method. So I'm going to focus on uh, yeah the short method uh, and I'll, I'll explain what it's doing as well as just being able to uh, work your way through the calculation to arrive at the correct answer. So I'll try and explain exactly what's happening. So this first question here, which is 84 and I'm dividing it by four. And if I write it twice, I will explain what's, what's happening. There we go. So what we need to do, we can look at the, we can split the 84 here into 80 and four. And what we can do is look at how many fours fit into 80. Well, that's going to be 20. How many fours fit into four? Well, that's going to be one, given us a total of 21. But what we can do is we can do a shorter version of that, which is doing exactly the same thing, but it's just not breaking down the, uh, the numbers into their place value. And we can look at how many fours fit into eight. Well, we know that's going to be two times four, so that's two, and there's nothing else left over. How many fours fit into four? Well, that's one. So it doesn't matter which way we calculate it, we still finish up with an answer of 21. And next we're on to question two, which is going to be 363. And we're going to divide that by three. So it's like saying we've got 363 uh, grapes and we're going to share that between three people. And we're going to use the calculation to tell us how many of the, how many grapes each of those three people will receive to eat. So if we have a little look at the question separately, so we've got 363 divided by three. And what we can do is we can split this number into hundreds there's the 300 tens there's 60 and its units so there's three and what we can do is we can see or calculate how many threes fit into each of these numbers so first of all it's going to be the 300 so how many threes in 300 well that's 100 how many threes fit into 60 that's 20 and how many threes fit into three that's going to be one. And then we can total how many threes fit into the 363 altogether, which is going to be 121. Now, this is a really useful way to identify how the number is broken down and how the three fits into the different parts. So, for example, we can, we can identify quite clearly how many threes fit into the hundreds, which is 300 in this case, how many threes fit into the tens, which is 60, and how many threes fit into the units. However, it does take a long time and the calculations can sometimes be more complicated. But it is very useful to help with understanding. So back to that question two, and we'll look at the shorter division method or the bus stop method. And we're going to divide this by three. So let's have a little look. So how many threes fit into three? Well, that's one. How many threes fit into six? Well, that's two for 20. And how many threes fit into three? Well, that's one. Okay, for a final answer of 121. And again, if we look, if we break up the answer into its place value, we have 120 and one, just like we did before. And next we're going to be looking at question three. So we're going to go straight into the short method now, which is 488. And we're going to divide that by four. And again, 
This is looking at 488 of an object, so let's say biscuits, and we're going to share that between four different schools, and that will tell, tell us how many biscuits each of those four schools will receive. So, the fours into the 400 goes one, the 100 in the hundreds column. We have the four into the eight goes two, which represents 20 in the tens column. And finally, how many fours in eight goes for two for a final answer of 122. And finally, for today, we're on to question four, which is 936. And we're going to be dividing that between three people. So 936 apples shared between three people. It's going to be a lot of apples for each person. So let's have a little look. So how many threes fit into nine or 900? That's going to be three or 300 as it's in the hundreds column. How many threes fit into three? Well, that's one. So that represents 10 in the tens column. And finally, how many threes fit into six? Well, that's going to be two for a final answer of 312. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.